MCSO has maintained a diver's program for nearly 30 years. It's all that experience that makes their department so qualified to teach others. We have rivers and lakes and, and ponds and canals and everything else that we have to dive in, so we can offer those particular areas with our techniques, and it makes it a very interesting and profitable school for agencies to attend. Okay, I'm uh, Sergeant Chris Clark, Maricopa County Sheriff's Office. Currently assigned to the Lake Patrol Division, and I, besides working the river in Saguaro Lake, I'm also the dive operations supervisor. Dive team, uh, its purpose, it, we specialize in underwater search and recovery uh, for both persons or evidence. Celebrating 50 years is, is very important to the MCSO dive team and underwater search and recovery with the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office. Obviously, I feel we've grown a lot as a team, but we keep the heritage strong uh, of the mission we give. And what we give, people most won't understand, is we can give them closure. We can give them the last greatest gift anyone can have if they've ever lost a loved one. Over the past 50 years, diving for public safety diving and how the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office operates has changed. It's definitely evolved, in my opinion, in a better, safer format. Traditionally, divers started out with just a back plate and an air tank and a regulator diving alone um, with maybe a person on the shore, evolving to now we dive in teams to at least a, a two-person element. Uh, we've transitioned to full face mask with communi underwater communications devices so divers can speak with other divers as well as shore support um, at, at each mission. My name is Jason Gilchrist. I'm a detective sergeant here at Lake Patrol. I currently oversee the ROV aspect of the Lake Patrol dive team, which is the underwater robotic vehicle unit. It's basically, um, to describe it, is it's like a drone that a lot of people see that are flying around, except for it's a drone within the water. It allows us to operate it from the shoreline and, and operate the vehicle under the water to where um, we can search large areas where it would be overtaxing for the physical part of divers. We can search and clear a lot of areas through the use of a underwater camera, as well as it's also equipped with sonar, which sonar has been probably the single most um, advancement in the dive program over the last 50 years. It's provided the ability to actually see in black water. We can see um, underwater structures, the topography underneath the lake and also help find um, victims and sometimes uh, evidence. Celebrating 50 years for the Lake Patrol dive team to me is a very significant um, moment. Uh, it pays homage to the past and the guys that have done this difficult task before us and the fact that they had to perform the same duties without a lot of the technology that we have and equipment. As well as the newer members on the dive team, maybe they've been here for two years and they're being a part of celebrating the dive team's 50th year history. I know that it has been significant even for them to be a part of this. And it kind of shows the, the passion of this division as well as its important to the community that it has existed for 50 years.